Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Griffin here, and it's been just over a year since I posted my first Well Simple review video, and about five, six months since posting the Milo app review, both videos going over the features and functionalities of both financial services in order to show you guys how they can each benefit your financial lives. And obviously you guys really enjoyed those videos because they got a lot of views compared to my other videos, and the like ratios are awesome. However, with time, applications and fintech companies such as these two quickly evolved adding new features, changing around basic functionalities, and basically just making the user experience better for everyone. Now, from the feedback that I've received from my previous videos covering Milo and Wellsimple topics, I've noticed that most people are interested in two particular aspects of these financial applications. The first observation is that a lot of people are interested in robo trading platforms as a whole, which essentially will create a broad market ETF portfolio for you as an investor with a hands off approach and diversified portfolio. And number two here is the rounding up functionalities that these robo trading platforms are now offering, such as Milo and Wellsimple's uh, roundup feature, where essentially you're investing spare change on your purchases. Both of these features combined not only allow the average investor to have a hands-off and hassle-free approach to investing, but it also allows you to exponentially grow your investment portfolio where otherwise it might be difficult to remind yourself to invest and save your money. And you know what? This does make complete sense because the fact of the matter is that not that many people want to spend time analyzing and picking their own stocks, bonds, or ETFs. Having a robo-trading platform do all the heavy lifting for you and create a portfolio based on your investor profile and needs is the perfect solution for the average retail investor. So these are really the main reasons as to why robo trading platforms have become so predominant in the past couple of years, really targeting millennials and getting this age bracket to invest in themselves and invest in their future. Now, one of the newer and most clever ways that you can start contributing to your investment account on a recurring basis is by setting up automatic withdrawals in this situation called roundups on your everyday spending. The concept here is actually quite simple and we're gonna unpack it more when we actually go over the two rounding up applications in this video, but this is an easy way to force you to save and invest your money when you spend money and most of the time you're not even gonna notice that those funds have left your account. All right, so as mentioned previously, we're gonna be covering two awesome Roundup applications in today's video. They are Milo, which I have made a fully comprehensive video on that separately that I highly recommend you check out. There's a link down in the description as well as a link to my blog post about that. And the other one is going to be Wellsimple's Roundup feature, which is a feature within their greater Wellsimple Invest or Wellsimple High Interest Savings Accounts. So let's now dig into the first app, which is Milo. This is actually the first application that came came up with the concept of rounding up your spare change to the nearest dollar when you make purchases. And essentially they're taking that spare change and investing it for you in an ETF based portfolio that is set up based on your profile and your risk tolerance as an investor. What's really most exciting about the concept of rounding up your purchases as well as investing them in an ETF based robo trading platform portfolio is that there's really no knowledge required in investing. By utilizing this application, you're really not going to have to change your lifestyle all that much in order to save and invest money because this application is only going to take small chunks of change based on the difference in your purchases that we're going to look at right now. Once you download the application with the link down in the description, which by the way, will give you a free $5 credit as a welcome bonus if you use that link, and then you proceed to creating your account. During this process, you're going to need to link your card to the application and set up a funding goal. The funding goal here is really just a way to measure your savings rate and have a visual representation of your progress. So once your account is set up and your debit and credit cards are linked to your account, let's take an example here where you go to Tim Hortons and you buy a bagel for $2.50. I don't even know if that's how much it costs, but let's say it was $2.50. Well, Milo is going to round up that purchase up to $3 and that excess 50 cents that's left over from $3 minus $2.50 is going to be taken from your account and invested in the application. Every purchase you make on the card is going to be accumulated within the account and on every single Monday, that entire total is going to be taken from your bank account and invested into Milo. And just as a side note here to reassure anyone, you can skip payments at any time. You can also withdraw your funds anytime. This is really your money. And ultimately, Milo really has no say about how you interact with your funds in and out of the account. Now, above and beyond the basic rounding up feature, Milo also offers three other ways that you can boost your savings and investments even faster. 
faster. The first one here is called one-time investments, which is really straightforward. Basically, it's an investment account, so you can choose to deposit a lump sum at any time into your investment account. You don't simply need to wait on the roundup functionality in order to grow your accounts. Another way you can boost your savings rate is by setting up reoccurring payments. So once again here, pretty straightforward, you can set up automatic reoccurring deposits from your bank account to your Milo investment account. So for example, just like any other investment account, you can set up say 100 to $500, let's say as a reoccurring deposit on a reoccurring basis that you set up. And finally here, you can also set up what's called Roundup Multiplier. So in the previous example where we had a 50 cents left over from that bagel purchase, you can decide that you want to multiply that Roundup by a multiple of one to 10. So for example, if you were to multiply it by 10 here, your 50 cent Roundup is gonna be multiplied by 10 so that is five dollars that's going to be accumulated and invested in your milo account once again you can enable and disable this functionality at any time the choice is yours all right so now that we understand the basic functionalities of milo let's look at the different account types and fees associated with the accounts the first plan is simply called milo pretty simple it costs one dollar a month and it's going to give you basic functionality features that we just covered the second plan that you can choose from here is called milo advantage at three dollars per month Month. Obviously, if you decide to go with Milo Advantage here, you're going to have access to all the basic features of the basic Milo package, but you're also going to have access to next day withdrawals, TFSA registered accounts, as well as RRSP registered accounts, and a couple other perks and features like collaborating company perks and deals. Also, with Milo Advantage, you can benefit from cashback earnings from some awesome merchants such as, say, Uber, Netflix, Amazon, Starbucks, and a variety of others. If you were to ask my personal opinion, I would go with the Milo Advantage plan at $3 a month simply based on the fact that you can have access to registered accounts such as the TFSA and the RRSP because if you're not aware of these two accounts uh, essentially they offer you tax sheltering incentives as well as a bunch of other functionalities so if you want to learn more about the TFSA or the RRSP you can check out the other videos on my channel right now where I go in depth about both of these accounts. If you'd like to see a nice spending scenario comparison between Milo and Milo Advantage then click the link in the description and head on over to my website where we go over the Milo full review and in this article you'll be able to get a more in-depth look at the different portfolio distributions based on your risk profile and the specific ETFs the portfolios are comprised of. Great so now that we've covered Milo let's hop into the second robo trading platform that offers roundup functionalities and this is one that I've spoken about a lot on my channel because I really like the user experience here and I find their services really frictionless. Uh, you guessed it I'm talking here about well Simple's Roundup application for their Wealth Simple Invest service as well as their 2% high interest savings accounts. If you're hearing about Wealth Simple for the first time in today's video, then basically what it is, it's a robo trading platform that essentially cuts out the middleman and charges you a lower management fee to manage your portfolio. Uh, so management fees here hover around 5% if you have an account under a value of $100,000. To set up an account, it's extremely simple and straightforward. You click the link down in the description which this link will give you $10,000 managed for free in your first year of use. And then you go through the steps of setting up your profile and selecting which account types you'd like to open. The company offers a variety of different accounts ranging from TFSA, RRSP, our ESP, cash accounts, joint accounts, and a bunch of others. Once your profile with Wellsimple is set up and you've chosen the account type you wanna go with, which I would recommend a registered account here, such as a TFSA or the RRSP, you're now gonna be ready to start investing in your personalized ETF portfolio. And just as a side note here, Wellsimple has introduced, as mentioned earlier, a 2% high interest savings account uh, in the past year, which has no management fees at all. So if you wanna know more about the actual functionalities of Wellsimple and or Wellsimple's high interest savings account, I highly suggest once again that you take a look at my full review of the application on either my website or YouTube videos. There's links to both of those down in the description. So back now to the actual rounding up functionality of Wellsimple, just like Milo here, you're able to set up the rounding up functionality within your Wellsimple account to invest that spare change into either your 2% high interest savings account that you set up with Wellsimple or in your ETF based portfolio that once again you set up uh, in either a TFSA or joint account, whatever account you've created with the company, you can access the rounding up functionality. Now, if you already have an account with Wellsimple or you're setting one up for the first time after watching this video, turning on the rounding up functionality 
functionality is really simple and straightforward, just like everything else with Wellsimple, to be honest. You go into the actual account that you wanna set it up for, and then you're gonna link your credit cards or debit cards that you wanna enable this functionality with uh, and link them to the account. And then the following times you make purchases with these cards, Wellsimple is gonna recognize these purchases and round up to the nearest dollar. And then just like Milo, it's going to combine once a week all these amounts and withdraw them from your account, putting them in your Wellsimple investing account. So is a rounding up application something that's of interest to you? And is it something that you would see yourself using in the future for your investments? I'd love to hear more about how you guys deploy your funds into the market, whether it's with a robo trading platform or if you pick and choose your own stocks and ETFs yourselves, let me know in down in the description. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys about it. And also let me know if there's any other topics you'd like me to cover in future videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you wanna learn more about credit cards, investing, savings accounts, and a bunch of other awesome topics. So on that note, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found a lot of value in this video and I'll see you in the next one.